so we're about to dive into the next heartbreaking episode of Violet Evergarden. This is episode 8. Uh, it doesn't have a, a title, so I don't know what this one's called, but um, I, I can imagine it's going to be fairly sad after the last episode where Violet kind of had to learn about grief. It was finally revealed to her that potentially Gilbert is dead, although I'm still apprehensive in that knowledge because a body was never found. No body, no proof, so he could come back. At the time being in this point of the story, yeah, let's assume that he's dead, and uh, obviously Violet is not handling that news very well, so I'm, I'm assuming this episode is going to carry on directly after last week's episode, Nameless, which was about a, a playwright who uh, was having writer's block after a tragedy in his life. He, he lost his wife, um, so him and his small daughter moved to a, a lovely little cottage near a lake and um, had some lovely times, and then the daughter died, and... Uh, God damn it. How? Oh, poor guy. Holy shit. So anyway, uh, this episode, episode number eight, I don't know what to expect. I just expect to be emotionally punished once again. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's just do it. Let's just dive in. Get it over and done with. Rip off the band-aid. Hurt me, and then move on with your day. My eyes are still sore from the last one. Heck. Oh. Oh. Flashback. Not cool, bro. What an asshole. Who the fuck is this guy? What? Did he train her up? What a jerk off. So, um, obviously it's going to be about Violet's beginnings. She was found on the street by this guy and called her a, a tool of war. So is he the one that trained her to be a killer? Or he just loves, he was just like, take her, do with her what you will. She's a tool. God, no wonder she has trouble connecting with her emotions. She's been abused in her, her formative years. I mean, I don't know how old she, is she like 10? So is the love, the love that she's feeling, or well, the love between her and Gilbert, is it, I'm hoping it's like a, a father-daughter kind of a thing, right? Not a romantic love. Right? That's, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that as a father-daughter bond. Right. As, <laughs> that's way better for me. Okay, so, um, we're gonna get their story, their relationship. Okay, let's go. Oh, <laughs> tears at the ready. Don't touch her. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, this jerk. Oh. Yeah. Jerk. So... Oh, she looks angry. So it's just MIA, right? There's some hope to cling to with that. Fuck off.
brick. I'm not prepared for this episode. I don't think she's going to be doing any writing in this one. Is she? Bitter. She has a feral child at the moment. Shit. She doesn't trust anyone. Poor kid. Orphaned. Left to fend for herself on the streets. Found by an asshole. Trying to run away. Oh. The first person to care about her. Wow, man. Jesus Christ. Fuck. This poor girl. She's a human being, you fuckers. Oh my god. Damn. He's gonna take Violet. No, I'm not gonna take Violet. Wait. She's gonna follow him. She does want to be on her own. She doesn't want to let him out of her sight. The first person to be nice to her. So she got that attachment. Here she goes. Oh. Damn. Holy fuck. Not very stealthy. Fuck, that went wrong. <laughs> you kind of blew it, kid. Oh, 
Oh, she's going to kill everyone anyway. Jeez. Wow. She's good at her job. Now she's feeling remorse. She's got all these emotions just burning inside of her. Back to the house. Oh, that thing's got a grave. Oh, man. Her face. Oh, she was mute. Here's my report. So he was her father figure and her major. She all scratched up. New clothes? A dress? Yeah. Necklace? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is from episode one? She gets the brooch? No? Or well, this is just burned into a into a memory. There, yeah, there it is. That's what she wants.
Oh my god. Yes. That's pretty. Man. Wow. A lot of the animation in this is actually reminding me of uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Like, just a lot of the character designs. She... She's like a little guard dog. Yeah, dead. She sure did. The school is really beautiful. Get her off the front lines. Is this the day he dies or vanishes? Eventually. Oh no, this is the final one, their final battle together. She's gonna lose her arms.
Oh no. Got a bad feeling about this. Damn, she's efficient, man. Small and quick and dangerous, and a good shot. There's only like three minutes left in this episode. Oh. Oh no. Walked into a trap. How does she lose her arms? Oh god. Jeez. Bloody hell. She's very good. She took them all out by herself pretty much. Oh, he's been shot. Wow. <gasps> Fuck, headshot. Right in the eye. Holy fuck. Son of a bitch. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, what an ending. You got shot in the eye, man. You get shot in the eye, the bullet's gonna go... Isn't it gonna go all the way through? To your brain and kill you? Jeez, unless it just like ricoch ricocheted inside his the the socket, his the eye socket, and come out again. I mean, it's not unheard of. Oh, that was a good app, man. I loved her backstory. Just kind of getting to know her and Gilbert, their relationship, that bond. Oh, good storytelling. To see where she's come from, like when she was just this small kid, I'm assuming she was orphaned or just abandoned and, and was living on the streets and found by that asshole general guy who just said like treat her like a, a weapon and Gilbert just showed so much empathy and, and compassion for this small girl. So I'm definitely feeling more of a, a father-daughter bond between the two of them, two of them now. Because the romance angle is just creepy and wrong. That brooch. It's like looking into his eyes. That's why it's so important to her. Oh. Very, very good. Oh, that's a good story, man. So like I said, I'm not sure when season two is coming out. But um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to continue on because the story is that engrossing. 
I've only got uh, what one, two, three, four, five, six, six to go. One of them is a special episode, so I don't know what that is all about. But there's 13 episodes in the, in the series in in season one. So um, I'll do a, a, that special event episode as well at the end. Now I'm I'm going in relatively spoil afraid of this to this show. Like I said, coming in, I only knew about it was um beautiful animation, emotional, and that's it. But getting involved, I can definitely see why this show is so popular. And I've already had um people say to me on Twitter that episode number ten is going to break me. So I, I would prefer not to know anything about it at all. But it's um because it makes me kind of um anticipate what the episode is going to be, be about and, and second guess it. So going in with any preconceived notion can, it, it can taint a reaction. So yeah, I'm hoping, well, I'm hoping it's good, but yeah, it's just, I don't like, but I just don't want any prior knowledge at all going in. So done. Uh, it didn't emotionally destroy me like the previous episode did with the playwright and his dead daughter. But um, this one was still very, very interesting. And I just love seeing that dynamic between Gilbert, between Gilbert and, and, and Violet. So yeah, let's see what the next couple of episodes bring us, which I'm not doing today. I'm, I'm done reacting today. I'm going to call it. I do want to watch um, A Quiet Place 2, so I'll be doing my reaction to that. Okay, done. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.